Hey, what is up everybody? How are you doing? It's David again, a photographer from Spain doing street photography or trying street photography, uh, learning about it. And today I bring you another video. This time is not in Barcelona, it's gonna be in Madrid because I had to go there a couple of days with the family to do some paperwork and then I took my camera with me. It's always nice to change location, so it was refreshing and I had the chance to photograph different things. It was just too short, still it was fun. I kind of made like a rookie mistake there, but you'll see what I mean. Just leave you to it. Here is the video. To get to Madrid from Barcelona, I took the high speed train, which cost me like 30 euros going back, so very cheap. But you have to check dates and times because it can be very different the price. Weather looked okay when we left, but then when we started to arrive in Madrid, everything was cloudy. So when I saw this weather, the first thing I thought is, bah, I'm not gonna shoot today a lot. I'm just gonna take one lens. I'm gonna leave everything else behind in the apartment. I'm just gonna explore the city a little bit. I'm not even gonna bother because the weather is so bad. So I just went to the city with one lens, shot this emblematic building, which I like the photos because of the mood. But then this happened. The sun went down below the clouds and I had the best light that I have ever seen, probably. And I was in an amazing place, a very open space and I was carrying only one lens. And I love the 30 millimeters by Sigma and I love the results, but I would have loved having a wider lens too to change compositions and capture the whole size of the place. And that's a rookie mistake, thinking that the weather is bad and not being ready for the change of the conditions. I still love this, I mean, look at the light and the shadows, it's amazing. I just wish I had wider shots of this scene to show the size and everything because it could be cool and more diverse. After that, I just went back to the same building as before, just to capture it in a different light and at night with artificial light. And it was really cool, but again, a wider lens would work better here so I could get the whole building and not just one part of it. The next day and the last one of my trip, it was a very sunny day, very nice, but no drama, no clouds, very few clouds. So we just went to a park, the main park of Madrid, and we stopped by this glass palace, they call it. And I just tried to get some dreamy compositions here with the light coming through the ceiling. But it was hard because it was full of people and I was trying to isolate someone. And that's what I was trying to do here. I was shooting on the 10 millimeters to 18 by Sony wide lens just to capture the whole building inside. I left the park and then I started walking. I saw this gate, which is very famous, is La Puerta de Alcalá. And I started taking photos here of people passing by. The sky was very clear. We had a couple of clouds, but mostly blue skies. Not ideal, but I was complaining that it was too cloudy now that there are no clouds. It's always the same with photographers.
And then I thought, you know what, since yesterday was very cloudy and suddenly it was perfect, maybe today is the opposite, it's very sunny and suddenly clouds come. So I head down to the same place as yesterday to watch the sunset, see how the light looks, and it didn't happen, the sky was totally blue, no clouds whatsoever, and the place looked nice and beautiful, but just once you have seen it with the perfect light, everything else is like short. Yeah, but still I stayed and I stayed there for like one hour or more just taking photos but looking for different compositions this time I had the white lens with me so I took advantage of that too took this photo of the palace inside like imagine this one with yesterday's sky that would be amazing or this one with the church in the background it would be insane if I took this one yesterday still I had lots of fun shot a lot of photos and I'm happy with them so that's what's important I went up the stairs to get a vantage point and see more of the shadows of the people and actually the light was really really beautiful, I loved the light especially when I wasn't shooting directly into the sun but more to the side like for example now this couple walking Then I left because I already had so many pictures of that place. I took this one outside, but the sun went down real quick, so I just decided to call it a day and back to the apartment. All right, so that was it. As you saw, I made the mistake of not carrying any other lens at the beginning and I missed, well, I didn't miss it because I had my camera and the other lens with me, but I really regret not having like a wider shot of that area because it's like very wide, very open area, but that's fine. Now I always carry my kit lens with me because it's super small and I always bring it with me no matter what. And that's it, nothing else to add. If you have any comments or anything, you know what to do. I hope you like the pictures and the video and I'll leave you until the next one. See you. Bye.